Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. Uh, my channel is Budget with Bliss, and my name is Katie. This channel is all about keeping myself accountable with my budget and creating financial well-being using the cash stuffing method. So today's video is a check-in for week three of February, um, the final fifth week of my January budget. Um, so let's kind of get stuck in and see what we've got left over uh, from the week. So we're starting, let's move that up, with Monday the 20th. Um, so uh, I had a day off on Monday. Um, it's half term uh, this week for my other half's daughter. So we've had her for the week. Um, which has been really nice. And on Monday, we um, hired some bikes and went cycling around the forest. Oh, the cat has just decided to come in. So I'm gonna have to get her out of the room because she's been an absolute nuisance this morning and is just sitting wherever I want to be, wherever I want to be working. Oh, no, is she going away? She might be going away. We'll continue. Um, so yeah, we hired some bikes and just had a, a cycle around the forest, which was really good. Um, but uh, the parking was six pounds, which I hadn't budgeted for. Um, but never mind, it is what it is. It was worth it. Um, so, so Tuesday was a no spend day, um, which is great. We'll mark that off. Oh my god, I'm getting my highlighter out. And then Wednesday, um, I went to a live in-person Rockfit class. Um, if anyone knows about Rockfit, um, it's a uh, exercise kind of fitness dance class uh, to alternative like music, rock music, which um, I really enjoy. I've been an online subscriber for like three years now, nearly. Um, and um, my nearest class is a long way away, like 70 odd miles away. So I drove there Wednesday after work. <clears throat> And then drove back um but yeah it was really good um i've made friends online through the online community um so it was nice to um to catch up with them and obviously petrol came out at 32 pounds and 59 pence um so that kind of closes off january for me and we'll just quickly flip to the rest of this week um so thursday was payday all the bills went out so that totaled for me 743 pounds 54 £743.45. pence. On Friday, I um, ordered some new uh, lingerie underwear. Um, I had a gift voucher, so I only had to pay the delivery of £4.95. And then on Saturday, um, I went to visit my grandma because it's her birthday this weekend. Um, so I bought her some flowers, which is only £4. Um, I also went out for afternoon tea with um, some friends. Uh, again, we had some vouchers for those, so I didn't actually have to spend any money, which was good. Uh, and then today is Sunday, and it is a no-spend day. It's not going anywhere, not going to spend anything. Right. So, just putting back to January, um, looking at my goals. So, we completed 12 or more no-spend days. Uh, we finished on one, two, three. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let me zoom you back out. There you go. 16. Um, started my YouTube videos, which is great. And I've finished. Can you hear that? It's the cat. I'm going to have to kick her out, I think. <laughs> kick her out of the kitchen so I can not be distracted by her. Alright, I'm back. So, um, where was I? Uh, yeah, so smash the no spend days, which is great. Started my YouTube videos, which is great. Fully fund the emergency fund, which we completed at the start of last week. Um, sell on Vinted. I have started to sell on Vinted, finally. In the last week of February, I did get my butt in gear. I started to post a few things onto Vinted and, um, I've had about four sales so far, so that's good. I'm only kind of posting some clothes, so um, everything is obviously relatively 
cheap, um, but it all adds up, doesn't it? So um, hopefully that'll just continue to take over. And then for February's budget, I know it's kind of near the end of February, but for me, when I get paid is when I kind of start my budget from for that month. It's how I've always done it. It's how it's always kind of worked in my head. So yeah, February starts on the 23rd of February for me, budget wise, so yeah. Um, sorry, if that makes you kind of confused in what month we're at. Um, but yeah, I do kind of put, obviously March starts there. Uh, but yeah, in terms of when I get paid, I class it as that month's budget. Uh, so for this month, I'm only going for 10 or more on those spend days. Now that is because um, I have got a holiday um, for like the last week um, of this kind of um, budget month. Um, so I know that I'm gonna be spending like nearly every day when I'm on holiday um, for drinks and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of a write off. Um, so there's no way I'm gonna be have, gonna, they're gonna have as many no spend days as last month. Um, it's just not gonna happen. So I just wanna be realistic with that. So 10 or more, I'll be happy with that within the next, the other, kind of like three weeks we've got left. Um, fully fund my holiday um, to sell on vintage sell some more bits and bobs to uh, get more stuff sorted through and, and uh, uploaded and to start some new savings challenges so yeah those are the goals for February's budget so let's have a look at what I've got left from this week so my reflection on that Never mind. Um, okay. So in spending, um, we have one pound left because I give myself ten pounds a week at the moment just while I'm saving hard for my holiday, and um, I rolled a four on the bingo challenge, so I had six pounds left. Five pounds went to my rock fit class, uh, so it's just a pound left. I haven't spent anything else. Uh, petrol. We have just got a little bit left. So two pounds forty-one. I don't have a nice pretty dish, but I do have these like old goo ramekins <laughs> from those desserts you get in the fridge section in the supermarket. Um, so I thought I'd just put the, the cash in there for now. Um, so we're also closing out the month. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Um, we're just going to be going through the monthly envelopes as well, what's left over. Uh, so eating out um, was stuffed with £40 at the beginning of the month. Um, I did go out, I think, three times for a meal. One was Valentine's, which I had half pay for, um, which was great. And then the other two times I had vouchers, so I didn't actually spend a penny, which was good. So all 40 of that is going to get rolled over. Let me move you out of the way a little bit. So that's good. Um, beauty, uh, that is going to get rolled over because my lashes were cancelled and they're booked in for um, tomorrow, but I've changed up what I'm gonna have done. So um, I'm gonna get my eyebrows and eyelashes um, uh, like lifted for the lashes. I'm gonna go for like fluffy brows, my eyebrows. Never had it done before, so don't know what it's gonna look like um, on me um, and have my, my extent, lash extensions removed as well. So um, it's definitely gonna be more than what I normally pay for my lashes. Um, so I need to obviously add more into that with uh, this month's budget. But yeah, I thought I'd roll it over just to be safe. And I've also got nails uh, coming up on Friday as well because they are growing out. Um, yoga gets rolled over because that is for a subscription. Um, miscellaneous has got three pounds left. And then health, we've not stuffed yet, so that's not got anything in it. So yeah, empty now, other than beauty, which is the only one that's getting rolled. Oh no, and yoga that gets rolled over this month. So, pretty straightforward, um, because other than the coppers and silvers, everything else is going to go into uh, my holiday fund. 
Um, so we'll just deal with the penny challenge first. And we've got 41p to go in there. And 41 is still there. That's good. This is going so slowly, um, especially now that I'm putting all of my pound coins into my holiday fund. Um, it is really a, uh, I don't know what the right word is, <laughs> a slow burner, shall we say. Yeah, it's going to take me forever. I, I kind of worked out, this is a while ago now, before I've kind of covered a few more squares in. At the, at the rate I'm going, though, it's going to take me like another like three years. <laughs> Just <laughs> madness. But hopefully when we get the holiday out of the way, I can start putting the pounds back in so I can get these crossed off a bit quicker. But um, yeah, for now it is what it is. And I'm a completist, I've said it before, once I start something, I will continue to the end. But it's gonna take me a while, guys, so you'll just have to bear with. And then I will be looking at getting uh, one of those ones um, where they go up to like 100 pennies or something like that. And maybe the pounds and the two pounds will go somewhere else. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. So what have we got left then? Um, we'll just get the challenge out as well. So in the back here, I've got my little book of savings challenges, which is from Budget with Ira. And we're doing the save £500, which will um, cover the rest of the cost of the holiday that I've got booked. Oh, can you hear Ruby? She's scratching at the door. Sorry, Ruby. She lives in the whole house. She can be in like, there's blankets everywhere. She loves a blanket, but no, she wants to be in the kitchen and she wants to sit herself right here, right in front of me. And she'll, she don't care what's here. She'll just plonk her whole body on whatever it is I'm doing. The keyboard, you know, if I'm working, <laughs> a notepad or anything, when I'm trying to like write something or work something out, I, yeah. I do love her though, but she's annoying sometimes. <laughs> Anyway, right, save my 500. So this is what we've got at the moment. This is the envelope with the money. Might have to do some changing up because this is a lot of pound coins now. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in there. A pound coins. I'll just leave this there for now. And five, 15, 25, 35, 55, 75, 95, 115 in notes. So 124 pounds in total. And then we will be adding 20, 30, 40, sorry, it's loud. 42, three, four, five, six, 46 today will be added to the save 500. Does that give me around 15 in coins and nine and six? Yeah, it does. Ooh, interesting. What am I doing? Right, let's put that there for now. Whilst I fill in these dots, I might use a different pen just because I'm wet on that one's ready to run out. We'll go for Tinkerbell. Okay, right. Totally lost. Where I was, 46, yeah, <laughs> 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. Okay, so uh, we go 1, oh, that's black. Is that black? I thought it was a blue pen. It is a blue pen. Why does it look black on here? Maybe it's just against the green? I don't know. Anyway, 1, 2, 3, 45 and 46 okay 46 still not sure what to do we'll, we'll see what happens if I need to do these at the end we'll do those at the end the half half circles uh, there we go so 46 of those coloured in so we'll add that into our envelope now So 
So we have now 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, five, plus 15 pounds in coins is 170. Lovely job. Way over a quarter of the way now on that. Um, so I will get these changed up, I think, but I'll put them back in the envelope for now and I'll do that off the camera. But yeah. Yay! So happy. That's great. So that is everything for this video, I think. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Not sure. I think it's empty, isn't it? Yeah, end of the month. Yeah, that's done with that. Um, so yeah. Uh, next video will be um, cash stuffing for my week one of February. Um, uh, but obviously week four of actual February. Um, so yeah, um, if you like this video, please like and please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm getting close to 200 subscribers now, which is quite exciting. Um, last time I looked, it was about 170. Um, so yeah, um, that would be amazing to hit 200. I'm thinking of maybe doing a giveaway at 250 subscribers. Um, so if uh, you'd be interested in, in um, taking part in the giveaway, um, maybe leave me a comment below on what kind of prizes you'd be interesting, um, interested in seeing and entering for. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a good day.